Hey guys, this will be a short video. What is a swatch? What it's about? And do you need this or not? So you can see here I made a swatch. First of all, what is this? So a swatch is a short piece, a short crochet or knitting or nooking or whatever piece. Um, and you work your pattern, which is called in your crochet tutorial. So if you have a written a written or a video tutorial and um, your pattern is telling you chain 20 stitches and crochet all the rows using the single crochet, then you should make a swatch using the single crochet. If you have uh, an assured pattern or double crochets or whatever shape, then you should use this. So if you work will be using double crochets then you should use a swatch only with double crochets otherwise it won't work and what is also important this swatch will only work for this specific yarn for this specific hook and for your hands so if you give the same yarn and the same hook to your neighbor he will have a different swatch than you so it won't be the same, the size won't be the same. Okay, so how do you do this? So what do you need? Okay, so we have a pattern and this pattern says that the swatch there is 10 centimeters width and 10 centimeters high and this is 10 rows and 10 stitches. So now you can decide, decide if you want to do a swatch, you can crochet 10 centimeters and 10 centimeters. So you crochet width and height 10 centimeters or you crochet, you start with 10 stitches and you crochet 10 rows. And this is what I did. So I chained 10, whoops, that was my, okay. <laughs> so I chained, don't do this my nail okay so I chained 10 stitches then I made a turning chain and I crocheted crochet 10 rows and then you take your ruler okay so 10 stitches are 14 centimeters and 10 rows are 12.5 centimeters so and then you have your pattern and the pattern is telling you chain 200 stitches and crochet 20 rows and then you should have 200 centimeters width and 20 centimeters height so you don't know how many stitches and how many rows do i need to get this size so this is why we're doing the swatch okay so now we'll calculate a little bit. So you have 10 stitches. Okay, we made 10 stitches. And 10 stitches are 14 centimeters. So, and we don't know how many stitches do we need to get 200 centimeters. We don't know this. So what do we do? We do this. So we calculate 10 divided by 14 multiplied by 200. And then we know how many stitches do we need. So how much is this? So we have here 142.86 stitches as stitches. Of course, we have no 145.86 stitches if we crochet. So what do we do? We say, okay, this is approximately 143 and then, and then you're done. So maybe you will have then 200 centimeters and one third or something like this, but it doesn't matter. So it's okay. Yeah, and you will do the same uh, using the rows. So you, then you have 10 rows and 10 rows are 12.5 centimeters. So you don't know, you don't know how many rows, or, yeah, how many row, rows do I need to get 
20 centimeters. So you count, no, not count you, calculate, <laughs> you calculate this and then you know how many rows you need. Yeah, and this is how it works. So it's it's working and crochet, knitting, nooking, whatever. This is how you should do it, yeah. I try to create my tutorials that you do not need a swatch. So I try always to say how you can crochet without this stuff because this is time and it's work. And you, also the yarn, if you're if you're making your swatch and then and then the yarn is not the same. So you, you know what I mean. Yeah, and actually also if uh, if you need a swatch, so if I'm doing my tutorials. You usually don't need this, but if you need a swatch and maybe you're working knitting socks or something like this, then you should know that um, if you do the swatch now um, and you have your, your written details, so you have them somewhere in, in your flat, in your house, um, and then you do them next year again, then you have to do a new swatch again. Why? Because after one year your tension is maybe different and also if you use the same yarn you will buy it next year. It could be that that the size, the thickness of the yarn is different. Doesn't matter if, if uh, the company name uh, is telling you that this is the same, it could be that it's different, it's possible. So if you if you didn't make the swatch yesterday and you have you have a new yarn and maybe your skill is different now, you should always do a new swatch. Yeah, okay. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and until next time. Bye bye.